How's it going, guys? Um, can't see him at the minute, but uh, because for some reason the total screen really lags out my um, camera, but we've got Alone in the Dark. Um, played one of the originals on PS1 very, very long time ago when I was a child. Um, so I was looking forward to this when it got announced, and obviously I've got it, so we're going to give it a go alongside Howard Ivers. Uh, we've been smashing out Howard Ivers quite a lot. I just thought we could do with a change. Um, if you don't like it, let me know. If you do, hope you do. Um, we'll do some more. I'll get past the total screen, then I'll put the camera back on, um, just so you can see me. But for now, we'll start the game. Uh, we'll go easy. We'll go easy. Take the piss all you want, but we'll go easy. We'll go modern. There we go. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. Big Jim Hopper. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Sito, is it? My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What? exactly are we gonna do when we find jeremy i don't know let's just find him first Emily Hartwood, Jody Coma, comma, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, and Edward Arnby, David Harbour. Yeah, fuck yes. <laughs> I want the gun. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. 
There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Chapter one. <clears throat> Ooh, that doesn't seems really I don't know how I feel about that. Seems really jumpy. I don't know if that's just the way it's meant to be. Now what do we got here? A little torch. Flashlight. Kitchen garden key. Nice. Why is it with these games? These guys just seem to go oh, with like one round of our ammunition. I never take multiple mags. Ooh, some pistol bullets. So give me now five. Of course it's gonna be five. Ooh. Eyes. That was awful. Shit. Right, that's not going to work, obviously. Options. Okay, that seems slightly better. Why would the doors close? Jackass. Goes up really high. And getting in there. Yeah, I can I can run. I can run. Game just seems Dead. I don't know how to explain it. Dead weird. It's like it 
Jitters, jutters, stutters, whatever you want to call it. Housekeeper's key. Hearing voices. I want to go upstairs and have a look. So yeah. Ah, right. Alcohol's health. <laughs> I can't get upstairs. Now I'm stuck. I need to get to the front door now and let Emily in, I think her name was. Don't mind if I do. Is that on there? I remember the old one on PS1, there was a window, if you play, I think you play, if you play as the girl. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay. As I was saying... Oh, you give me one pistol, buddy. Thanks. As I was saying, in the first one, there was, uh, you got a choice to play as a girl or the guy. Can't remember their names, but I remember... I don't know if it was, I think it was the girl, you could look out the window, it was similar to that. You could see things going on in the sh in the street. And as a bloke, as the bloke, you walk by this big house. And 
your camera view would change and you'd look from the window looking at yourself walking as if someone was looking at you. Why is that door open? Oh, I am I am slightly shitting myself, I'm not gonna lie. Think full. Wonder how wonder how I can access health. There's a tab tab zooms in. Rat poison. I don't know this at all. <laughs> I did not like that. Go down there in a minute, I want to look down this side. That looks breakable. Someone's gonna bust that and do me in. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. I need something else for that later. I can wait. <laughs> There's noises upstairs. Fuck that shit. Oh, yeah. Don't slam that for fuck's sake. Every sound is just. Absolutely stupidly loud. New Orleans probably serves. We can't do it. I need a key. Gotta go upstairs, I know. Fuck's sake. Is 
Seems lagging. I've just got to save. That, that helps. And yeah. Hamburg. Oh, this is horrendous. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Oh, there's a map there as well. Need a key, that key, yeah, the gimmick key. Hey, meds are in there. I need to get to nice. Right, I can get to that room now, get to the stair hall, get her in. Miss Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Where do these people come from? Uncle darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. 
Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Just took an extremely weird turn. Seems normal. So laggy, so glitchy. What's going on? All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. I was shitting myself, and then all these people came out of nowhere. She's randomly disappeared as well. What's that all about? Oh, there she is. I need a key. Keys there, but I can't touch them. Oh, hey, oh. See myself? I'm not playing with the puzzle, no? Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places. Ouch, I just put myself in a fucking headphone. I wish That's... I understood your death, senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall wait. How did you first come to understand such things, Sonora? How did you know that the battered body in the basement would lead me to a cemetery? How the old upstairs clock with astronomical motifs, motifs would take me to that heightful mound outside of Claremont Harbour? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see... Corella? Corella? I don't know. I want that more than anything. Please let my talisman take me there. Talisman. This one, not the husband, this one. Let me there. And let me sit with one under his body tree. Despite having sold despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess we revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to understand she cruelly told Bestie. Be sorry if I can help. I can't fucking read. It's awful. One he loved would be his sister, sharp spear. Devoured by his own mother, what a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. 
The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark past. Everyone is safe, except for me. That will come in handy later when I when I know what it's for. Ah, okay, paint your tile. All I need to do with that. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. Tarawea. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. You're a big help. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would have killed a guy to throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Oh wow. That's striking. Jesus Christ. I want to save it, love. Dr. Gray. You got drawn in. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's How glitchy go. that is. What's going on? Emily? What about to go crazy? What the hell is going on? Where am I? Oh shit. Investigate the corner store. I don't want to investigate no corner store. I'll get into this shit. Shit, it's about to go off this. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Where did that thing go though? 
thing was blowing fucking bubbles, man. You know what? These are going to be a problem. Either I'm thinking too much or something's going to bust through these later in the game. See, that, that's, that's breakable, no, is it? I don't know, I don't trust it. We need a merchant I've been in Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4. I need to know how to take health. Right, G. G gives me health. I'm going to go take this from over here. Cool, cool, cool. Not the mouse then. What the hell is going on? Okay. Fuckers putting me on edge, man. <sighs> Holy I'm shit! They're not the good guy. He's big. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? Pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, Compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace guides him the talisman that's right it's some magic charm he got from miss jackson down the street the voodoo priestess you know surprising things compare yeah the mama lower here take the key i locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside maybe if you go there you can find some clues to show you the way thanks i'll have a look Oh, that's Batiste. Batiste, yeah. In there, no? You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. I'll we'll see. That's helpful. Where's this voodoo place then? Is it down there? Is it down here? Exploring off. I can't 
can't go that way. The fuck is that? Weapon pipe. Okay. Oh, fuck. You bastard. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Who the fuck do you think you are, you prick? Fucking knobhead. Come at me like that, dickhead. Going against the fact that I shit myself when he first came at me. But not the point. Oh, he came back. Oh, shit. With me now. There's some sort of fungus grow on the top of it. This one's on about that that rot or whatever it was. I'm going to assume that the fog is a barrier. I'm gonna guess. That basically means you can't go that way and that's your way to navigate. And it's babysitter. Yeah, I'll babysit for you. Oh, there's an axe there. Use that. Got the pipe, yeah, sound. A bucket of piss. Cool. Even steps. Come on, then, big man, let's go. Up. How many more of you? Come, let's have it. Fucking bitch. Something up there. Yeah, here we go. You saying? Let's see if we can do this with a melee weapon. So we can kill them with a, a meta weapon. We can kill, obviously kill them. A few hits. <sighs> He's gonna let me pick it up. It's not. I can only hold 24 rounds. That's bullshit. I need to go upstairs. Ah! 
Oh, you fuck. Asshole. Voodoo doll. Voodoo. <laughs> doo 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 doo. <laughs> Jammy bastard was stood there. Now give me. Oh, take that. Sure, there's got to be some upgrades to get fucking higher ammo capacity and whatever else. Can't have, can't have that. So let's go in here. Is that medallion thing in it? Like the one in the painting. And your own talisman. Oh, talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving on the number lock seem to be less than a hundred years. Seem to be less than a hundred years old. <clears throat> but the base could be from antiquity. I can't pronounce that word, but I know what it means. Polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. I think it's meant for the talisman. Right, so you go back and forth. How do I? Okay, so if I go back, how do I read my notes? Three numbers needed, and a bridge between escapes of dream and memories. Escapes of dream and memory. I want to stand not where I want to be, but it's start three five eight. So I want to go. Three, five, sweet, so it's reading, where's eight, well right, that's reading down there so I need to go three, Five, eight. It's showing something. Place? Where is that? Huh. Ah, bro, don't do this to me. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. 
What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that something simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Chapter one done. Detective Carney, how did you... where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something though. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Taroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be alright? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Why the fuck you lying? The it's in the commonplace book. In the French quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Terroea. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Right, um, that's the f that's this first episode done. Um, I've closed the camera off because this home screen, I don't know why, absolutely ruins my camera. Um, whoever you've noticed there as well, um, what's the name? Keeps doing like a jitter. I don't know if that's my computer absolutely packing itself in, or if that's the game. But it doesn't look the best quality, but the atmosphere is there um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed um if you want to see more of this content let me know i'm gonna put more up anyway but if you don't like it you can stop doing it um and just stick on how do if something else comes across our plate but uh till then thank you very much for watching thank you very much for watching uh please comment like and subscribe and i uh, shall see you all later